from time to time, as an atheist, you may encounter certain people online, theists, who believe in God, and you may present to them counter evidence to their belief in God, but it seems like no matter what you say, that they refuse to change their mind. So I wanted to go over the power of conversation and lay out a format for the best way to convince others how to change their mind. Obviously, after hearing about the neuroimaging study on the Atheist Underground podcast about the brain being hardwired to resist change in the face of counter evidence, it will no doubt leave many people wondering how they can convince anyone to see their point of view. Philosopher and cognitive scientist Daniel Dennett, in his book titled Intuition, Pumps, and Other Tools for Thinking, offers what he calls the best antidote for the tendency to caricature one's opponent. A list of rules formulated decades ago by the legendary social psychologist and game theorist Anatole Repaport, best known for originating the famous tit-for-tat strategy of game theory. Then it synthesizes the steps. 1. You should attempt to re-express your target's position so clearly, vividly, and fairly that your target says, thanks, I wish I'd thought of putting it that way. 2. You should first, you should list any points of agreement, especially if they are not matters of general or widespread agreement. 3. You should mention anything you have learned from your target. 4. Only then are you permitted to say so much as a word of rebuttal or criticism. Following these rules, you then generally make yourself more receptive to what you may want the other person to understand. Obviously, when we ourselves are faced with criticism, we too must keep our own emotional objections in check. There may be valuable insight that we missed. That doesn't mean our emotions are always a bad thing or can't give us valuable information, but we should really stop and check ourselves before jumping to conclusions. If you ever notice when you're faced with counter evidence or when you present somebody with counter evidence, they begin to feel emotionally or mentally stressed. This is known as cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance was a term created by social psychologist Leon Festinger. It describes a mental state in which people find themselves experiencing mental discomfort when confronted with contrary opinions that they themselves do not hold to be true. Some examples of cognitive dissonance would be when flat earthers feel emotionally upset when you present to them evidence that the earth isn't flat. Or global warming, for example. Many people are emotionally stressed in the evidence for that. Or miracles with Jesus, creationism. These types of things people are emotionally tied to for answers for life's ultimate questions. So if you try presenting evidence in any of the above discussions, you will notice that they still refuse to change their mind. So evidence alone is not always enough to convince anyone, but how we communicate to others about the evidence can be. So as atheists, we definitely need to learn how to change the language we use to communicate to others.